The latest round in the battle over North Carolina's controversial new law is turning into a war of words between Attorney General Roy Cooper and the Republican leadership. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick has the latest on the political upheaval surrounding House Bill 2. We should not even be here today. Attorney General Roy Cooper, a Democrat, made it clear he believes House Bill 2 is bad for North Carolina. House Bill 2 is unconstitutional. Therefore, our office will not represent the defendants in this lawsuit. LGBT advocates are suing in federal court. They want the law overturned, arguing it doesn't protect the LGBT community. The battle began when Charlotte passed a non-discrimination ordinance that would have allowed transgender people to use the restroom that matches their gender identity. Republican Senate President Pro Tem Phil Berger says Cooper should step down. If he's not going to do his job, if all he's going to do is run for the next job he wants, he needs to go ahead and resign and let's get somebody that will do the work of the people. Berger tells us criticism of the legislation is part of a liberal agenda. Now, this is playing out exactly uh, the way the far left would, uh, would want it to play out. The legislation was brought about because the city council in, in Charlotte uh, decided to pass an ordinance that allows grown men to go in the same restrooms and locker rooms uh, with women and young girls. When asked to respond to Berger's call to resign, Cooper said, I'm doing my job and will continue to do my job. Cooper is running for governor and Maggie ahead at six. We're going to talk with the Charlotte mayor who was in Raleigh today. She's concerned about the impact to her city and to our state. And Bo, I understand we're getting some possible new information out of Charlotte concerning the All-Star Game and possible impacts there. Yes, so the NBA has its All-Star Game currently slated for Charlotte in February, but the NBA did release a statement last week saying that it's watching what's happening here in North Carolina and the impact from this legislation. So now at this point, Atlanta has said, well, they've contacted the NBA and hey, you know, if you're going to move the All-Star game out of Charlotte, why don't you come down here to the Atlanta Hawks? So we'll see how this all plays out. A lot of strong reactions to this legislation. Thank you, Bo.